Hello everyone, it's Bob and Sheila, and we're back again with God's Word for today. This is the program where we read the Bible aloud, and we let the Lord's Word speak for itself. We don't comment, we don't analyze or dissect, and uh, we don't even argue between us. <laughs> we better not. <laughs> and uh, it's my hope that you'll stay right where you are and uh, read along with us either from your own personal Bible or follow our words as we read the Bible on the program. Now, I am Bob Lincato. This is Sheila Hodgkin. Hi, Sheila. Hey, how are you? Good. I love your T-shirt. Look at that. Yes, it's a sweater. It says, believe. I said T-shirt. It is a sweater, actually. <laughs> I'm not making that up. It is an actual very nice sweater. Thank you. didn't you. do that yourself, did you? I wish I did, yeah. but I picked it myself. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just as good. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going to be reading from the book of Psalms today. Uh, we'll we'll uh, start with chapter 102. So while you are um, going to that in your Bible, uh, Sheila, could I ask you to invite the Holy Spirit in, not just for us, but also for all our viewers who will be reading along with us? I'd love to. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the blessing it is to have your word in front of us to read and to share with others. We pray for the Holy Spirit to fill us, to give us wisdom, not only to Bob and myself, but to those who are watching, who are reading along with us. May your wisdom, your words, and whatever you speak through, through the Bible, that it comes alive and it gives us direction and that we may soak it all in, all your promises, and that we may live by them, and that we may be comforted by them as well. Um, we thank you again, Lord. We give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Very nice. You said it well. Mm -hmm. We're starting now, book four, Psalms, chapter 102. By the way, we are reading from the New King James Version but uh, feel free to read along with uh, any version that you have. So, if you're ready, then I'll begin. Psalms 102, The Lord's Eternal Love, a prayer of the afflicted when he is overwhelmed and pours out his complaint before the Lord. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me. In the day that I call, answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned like a hearth. My heart is stricken and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I lie awake, and am like a sparrow, alone, on a housetop. My enemies reproach me all day long. Those who deride me swear an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread, and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and your wrath, for you have lift, uh, lifted me up, and cast me away. My days are like a shadow that lengthens and I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, shall endure forever, and the remembrance of your name to all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for the time to favor her, yes, the set time, has come. For your servants take pleasure in her stories, and show favor to her dust. So the nations shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion, and he shall appear in his glory. He shall regard the prayer of the destitute, and shall not despise their prayer. This will be written for generations to come, that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven, the Lord viewed the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion, 
and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord, he weakened my strength in the way, he shortened my days. I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. Of old, you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. Yes, they will all grow old like a garment, like a cloak. You will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. The children of your servants will continue, and their descendants will be established before you. Sheila, could you continue with uh, chapters 103, 104? Yes, I'd love to. Psalms 103, a psalm of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes, for the wind passes over it and is gone. And it places, and it plays, remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to such a covenant, such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, who ministers of his, who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Would Good. you like to read 110 or? Well, 105, you... I think, is what's next. I mean, 104. Um, would you like me to read 104 and then you want to read 105? Could you please, 104? Yes, Good. yes. Psalms 104. Praise to the sovereign Lord for his creation and providence. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. He lays the beams of his upper chambers in the waters, who makes the clouds his chariot, who walks on the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits, his ministers a flame of fire. You who laid the foundations of the earth so that it should not be moved forever, you covered it with a deep as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains. At your rebuke, they fled. At the voice of your th thunder, they hastened away. They went over the mountains. They went down into the valleys to the place which you founded for them. You have set a boundary that they may not pass over, that they may not return to cover the earth. He sends the springs into the valleys. They flow among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. By them, the birds of the heavens have their home. They sing among the branches. He waters the hills from his upper chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. He causes the grass to grow from the cattle and vegetation for the service of man, that he may bring forth food from the earth. 
and wine that makes glad the hearts of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread which strengthens man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap. The cedars of Lebanon, which he planted, where the birds make their nests. The stork has her home in the fir trees. The high hills are for the wild goats. The cliffs are a refuge for the rock badgers. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's going down. You make darkness and it is night, in which all the beasts of the forest keep, creep about. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions, this great and wide sea, in which are innumerable teeming things, living things both small and great. There the ships sail about. There is that Leviathan which you have made to play there. These all wait for you, that you may give them their food in due season. What you give them, they gather in. You open your hand, they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. He touches the hills and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. May my meditation be sweet to him. I will be glad in the Lord. May sinners be consumed from the earth and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. <laughs> very nicely read. I like the end. Thank you, Sheila. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. We're up to Psalm 105 now. It's uh, the eternal faithfulness of the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known the deeds among his peoples. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works which he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant, you children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the word which he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath to Isaac, and confirmed it to Jacob for a statue to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. When they were few in number, indeed very few, and strangers in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one ki uh, kingdom to another people, he permitted no one to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sakes, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine in the land. He destroyed all the provisions of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They hurt his feet with fetters. He was laid in irons. Until the time that his word came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions, to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob dwelt in the land of Ham. He increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal craftily with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They performed his signs among them and wonders of the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they did not rebel against his word. 
He turned their waters into blood and killed their fish. Their land abounded with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke, and there came swarms of flies and lice in all their territory. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. He struck their vines also and their fig trees and splintered the trees of their territory. He spoke, and locusts came, young locusts without number, and ate up all the vegetation in their land and devoured the fruit of their ground. He also destroyed all the firstborn in their land and the first of all their strength. He also brought them out with silver and gold, and there was none feeble among his tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them had fallen upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quail, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and water gushed out. It ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham, his servant. He brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with gladness. He gave them the lands of the Gentiles, and they inherited the labor of the nations, that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise the Lord. Up to uh, Psalms 106 right now, joy in the forgiveness of Israel's sins. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can declare all his praise? Blessed are those who keep justice, and he who does righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have toward your people. O oh, visit me with your salvation, that I might see the benefit of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers, who have committed inequity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders, they did not remember the multitude of your mercies, but rebelled by the sea, the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it dried up. So he led them through the depths and through the wilderness. He saved them from the hand of him who hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Then they believed his words. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness, and tested God in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. When they envied Moses in the camp and Aaron, the saint of the Lord, the earth opened up and swallowed uh, Dathan and covered a faction of Abram. A fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped the molded image. Thus they changed their glory into an image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, awesome things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, had not Moses, his chosen one, stood before them in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he destroy them. Then they despised the pleasant land. They did not believe his word but complained in their tents, and did not heed the voice of the Lord. Therefore he raised his hand in an oath against them, to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their descendants among the nations, and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also to Baal of Peor, 
and ate sacrifices made to the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their deeds, and the plague broke out among them. Then Phinehas stood up and intervened, and the plague was stopped, and that was accounted to him for righteousness to all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses on account of them, because they rebelled against his spirit, so that he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples concerning whom the Lord had commanded them, but they mingled with the Gentiles and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare to them. They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons and shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus they were defiled by their own works and played the harlot by their own deeds. Therefore the wrath of the Lord was kindled against his people, so that they abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the Gentiles, and those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times he delivered them, but they rebelled in their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry. And for their sake he remembered his covenant and relented according to the multitude of his mercies. He also made them to be pitied by all those who carried them away captive. Save us, O Lord our God, to gather us from among the Gentiles, to give thanks to your holy name, to triumph in your praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, Sheila, um, 107 and 108, please. Yes, Book 5, Psalms 107 through 150. Thanksgiving to the Lord for his great works of deliverance. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty. Their soul fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city for a dwelling place. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness, those who sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, bound in affliction and irons, because they rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of the darkness and the shadow of death and broke their chains in pieces. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron in two. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, were afflicted. Their soul abhorred all manner of food, and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they seek the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commands and raises the stormy wind, which lifts up the waves of the sea. They mount up to the heavens. They go down again to the depths. Their soul melts because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man. 
and are at their wit's end. Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brings them out of their distresses. He calms the storm so that its waves are still. Then they are glad because they are quiet, so he guides them to their desired haven. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the assembly of the people and praise him in the company of the elders. He turns rivers into wilderness and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of those who dwell in it. He turns a wilderness into pools of water and dry land into water springs. There he makes the hungry dwell that they may establish a city for a dwelling place and so fields and plant vineyards that they may yield a fruitful harvest. He also blesses them and they multiply greatly and he does not let the cattle decrease. When they are diminished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow, he pours contempt on princes and causes them to wander into the wilderness where there is no way. Yet he sets the poor on high far from affliction and makes their families like a flock. The righteous see it and rejoice and all iniquity stops its mouth. Whoever is wise will observe these things, and they will understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Psalms 108, Assurance of God's Victory Over Enemies, a song, a psalm of David. O oh God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. Awake, lute and harp. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O oh Lord, among the peoples. And I will sing praises to you among the nations, for your mercy is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand and hear me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the helmet for my head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I will cast my shoe. Over Felicia I will triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, O God, who cast us off? And you, O God, who did not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for the help of man is useless. Through God, we will do valiantly, for it is he who shall tread down our enemies. All right, we are now up to Psalm 109, but you know, we are just about out of time, Sheila. So I think we'll save that for the next installment of God's Word for today. I'd like to thank you all for joining us and being a part of our LLBN family today as we read God's Word. Um, we hope uh, that uh, the Lord will continue to bless you and take care of all your needs. And Sheila, next time you see one of those sweaters, you got to pick one up for me. I will. <laughs> Thank Believes. you. Believes. Hang in there, everybody.